Alright, so in this video, let's discuss one problem and how to solve it. So this is a data point and the question asks us to calculate what is F4 using Newton's polynomials of third order and the fourth order. So first and foremost, when you have a data, a set of data points here, you need to um, reorder the points. You know, reorder the points as centered and as close to as your unknowns. So in this case, your data, your unknown data is x, sorry, x equals to 4. So 4 should be around here. And what is fx, all right? So first and foremost, we need to identify what is our x0, x1, x2, x3, okay. So, um, and x4. So, our x0 is, is either 3 or 5. Because each of these data has the same difference value compared to 4. This one, the difference between 4 and 3 is 1. And the difference between uh, 4 and 5 also 1. So they have the similar difference. But which one shall we pick first? So we should actually choose the first data, with, uh, the data that comes first. So our x0 is 3. And our x1 is 5. So the next is either 2 or 6. Which one should we pick? For the next data they also have the same difference but then this data comes first compared to six so this one is two and this is six and the last one is one all right so fx naught is uh, three 5.25 fx one is five 19.75 and so on and so on so now that we have listed all these data points, it's time to um, plug in into all those equations. So you need to come up with the third order polynomial equation, which is this B0, B1, you have B2, and you have B3. So now you know that you have to calculate B1, B2, and B3. And in order to calculate B1, you need to calculate the first divided differences involving all the data pairs according to the sequence. So first one is x0 and x1, and then x1 and x2, and x2 and x3, x3 and x4. So for the first one, which is fx0, uh, sorry, fx1 and fx0, so this is the formula fx1 minus fx0 divided by x1 and x0. So in this case, let's look at fx1. Sorry fx1 is 19.75 so here 19.75 minus fx0 which is 5.25 oh this is wrong here yeah? it's not 15.25 it's 5.25 divided by 5 minus 3 and then we have the second first divided difference which involves x1 and x2. So in this case, fx2 is um, 4. Yeah. fx2 is 4. fx3 is 36. And fx4 is 4.75. Okay, so here 4 minus fx1 is 19.75 divided by uh, 2 minus 5. So you have to calculate all these 4 divided differences. And next is the calculation of the second divided differences, which involves x0, x1, x2, x1, x2, x3, x2, x3, x4. So you can see the sequence here. Alright, x0, x1, x2, x1, x2, x3, x2, x3, is x4. But make sure you are uh, taking only 3 data in sequence for the 
first, for the second, and for the third. And just plug in all the values inside. You will get these three values. And next, it's time to calculate the third divided differences. So, the third divided differences is uh, the first one, x1, x1, x2, x3. And the second one is x1, x2, x3, x4. So, where do you get all these values from? From here. This is f, x3, x2, x1 minus f, this, all right, x2, x1, x0. So this comes from here and this comes from here. Divided by 6 minus 3, x3 minus x0. So x3 is 6, x0 is 3. And then you calculate for the second, third divided differences, which involves x1, x2, x3, and x4. Okay, um, you, try, you have to try this on your own. Uh, otherwise, you wouldn't know whether you understand the concept or not. And then the fourth divided differences, these values are taken from here. This is from this x4, x3, x2, x1 minus fx3, fx, fx3, x2, x1, x0. Okay, so let's summarize all our answers for b0, b1, b2, b3, and b4. If you look at here, our fourth divided difference is 0. So this actually gives us the clue that um, it is okay to stop. At the third divided difference um, we will which it means that the third divided difference will give us the exact value that we want so there is no need to calculate further for the uh, for the next higher degree of polynomial so I will show you here so if you plug in all these values into the third divided difference uh, sorry into the third uh, order of interpolating polynomial so you will get the answer as 10 and also for the fourth order polynomial if you plug in all these values together with the x um, which here x equals to 4 so this is 4 right so you will get the same value which is 10 so this shows here that it is not necessary or it is not required for us to calculate the fourth order of the polynomial because it will give the same answer. So if we stick to only the third order calculation, the third order interpolating polynomial, we will get the exact answer, This the answer that we want and that's it. So how do we identify that? By looking at our answers for the finite divided difference. If we get zero in any of these b1, b2, b3, b4, now the previous divided difference are enough to give us the exact answer. So let's say this one, you calculate it, you will get, you get 0. So your answer shall be based on, uh, you know, it's sufficient to use only b0 and b1 in your interpolation formula. So there is no need to extend to the next level of the Newton's interpolating polynomial. Okay, so if you guys uh, find it difficult to understand the concept of this uh, finite divided difference getting zero and what does it mean, you can uh, always WhatsApp me. Alright, I'm going to cover on the last part of this chapter, which what we call as Lagrange interpolation. So, this Lagrange interpolation, they are, it is very, very simple. So it is simply the reformulation of the Newton polynomial, which avoids the computation of divided differences. So in this case, there is no need to calculate the, all those first, second, third, or fourth, those divided differences. Okay, so this is the formula for the Lagrange interpolation. So f1x equals to x minus x1 divided by x0 minus x1 fx0 plus x minus x0 divided by x1 minus x0 fx1. So this is the linear version of the Lagrange interpolation. 
and we also have the second order version so in this Lagrange we have linear and second order so the second order version this is the formula so this one is just the um, the data x1 x2 um, x0 okay and this is our unknown this is our x so let's look at an example here. Calculate, use Lagrange interpolating polynomial of the first and second order to evaluate ln 2 based on the data given. So we use the same data, x0 equals to 1, fx0 equals to 0, and so on and so on. So first and foremost, we use the first order calculation, first order Lagrange. Um, our x, our x is 2, in which we need to calculate the f2 all right so for first order just plug in all these values into this equation and you will get this answer okay so this is fx0 and this is fx1 and 2 here is your is your x okay for the second order polynomial again just plug in all the necessary values inside this second order equation and you will get your answer as 0.5658444. Okay, all right. So that's all for this chapter. I will see you in my next video for the new chapter. Thank you.